Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to another game of Josef Krejcik. Um, Dr. Josef Krejcik was a very strong Austrian player from the beginning of the 20th century and his signature move was trapping the queen. We have over 60 games in the database, a lot of them uh, with the queens of opponent trapped. So if you look for the inspiration, how to trap the queen of your opponent, if you would like to try and train the, the tactics, how to trap the queens, check his games a lot of inspirations really some of them are really really crazy i show you already on my channel one of the queens trapped uh, of richard retty so he was one of the strongest player of that era and he fall into the uh, joseph krejcik trap very interesting one uh, if you haven't seen check it that on my channel and today i would like to show you the game from vienna 1908 joseph krejcik played exclusively in vienna uh, he didn't move Move anywhere that was his city and he played in the in the chess cafes uh, against a lot of players this game was played we don't know uh, against whom so we have Nomen Nescu again uh, the most popular uh, chess player of uh, all the times and he also lost a lot of um, games uh, however he played for a couple of hundred years definitely very very experienced player and this game was played as a blindfold game so Josef Krejcik didn't see the board and didn't see his pieces and, um, and yeah without foot ado let's see what happened on the board it's very very educational maybe you can catch some inspiration here i will try to explain a couple of ideas here uh, in this game as well so we have e3 by Josef krejcik and this move it looks like very very passive usually what we want to do in the opening is control the center uh, so control the squares as many squares as possible however e3 is not that great but there are also a couple of ideas here. So first, of course, we open the diagonals for the queen and for the bishops so they can uh, move freely. This is the first thing. And another one, the pawn, the e-pawn doesn't block this diagonal. So you can see already some potential, some patterns, what can happen. So, of course, if uh, black plays something like, you know, e5, you can try to go for the exchange variation on, of the French defense where you're going to have one tempo extra so that's one of the ideas here uh, also if we have something like d5 you can go to some call system uh, and so on however in our game we have d6 uh, which is you know also the passive move black also doesn't fight for the center we have knight f3 developing move and now knight d7 and this move is also uh, interesting uh, and it can bring a lot of uh, interesting ideas ideas to the to the table but for the opposite side in this case for white uh, of course it's, if black plays something like knight f6 there is everything fine here and um, then we can play e5 and and so on and it's very very solid quite passive but very solid for black uh, however here Josef Krejcik immediately went for bishop d3 blocking his d pawn uh, and saying now I can castle and also watch out because I'm pointing on h7 uh, and also in some variations uh, I can be very very dangerous here so this is the idea bring this light square bishop as fast as possible usually you play something like d4 uh, and then e3 and then bring this bishop but this time d4 is not even played so white are very very fast uh, with the developing and pointing on the king side uh, and here is decisive plan of the black uh, what can go wrong if you play b6 and start to develop the queen side we have knight g5 immediately and now this is the moment of the game critical moment of the game because in this position believe me or not uh, but black didn't go knight g to f6 just to defend h7 that would be pretty natural uh, however we have h6 and h6 is a terrible blunder so now feel free to pause the video and find the winning continuation for white enjoy because this is quite a beautiful one while i enjoy my cup of tea okay ready 
So there are two ways of winning now uh, on the spot. So if you found the move Queen H5, I have a bad news for you. This is the very bad continuation because black has now this knight on d7 can jump actually um, to e5. And here is the problem. If the knight is on e5, what white can do? Now there is the problem that g6 can be played and this bishop uh, cannot take it uh, because the knight defend g6 and also defends f7. So there are no checkmates here. Uh, and then after g6, uh, yes, the queen can go back. So for example, if white castle, we can have this g6, queen h4, and then simply knight d3, and the game can continue. Nothing happened here. Uh, we can play, of course, knight f3, because now the rook is defended. So knight f3, knight f6, and so on. Black have beautiful position. The bishop gonna come to the game, and white still lacking development. This bishop uh, probably gonna have the problems with developing if this pawn is moved, and then this bishop can be alive. There are some tactics here. So definitely black stands much much better here so queen h5 doesn't work here however there are two ways one of the ways which uh, Josef Krejcik didn't play is knight f7 knight f7 attacking the queen uh, and of course the rook the queen has nowhere to go uh, and the problem is if the king takes on f7 we're gonna have queen h5 now and this is the checkmate in next move whatever uh, black play if the king goes to the, to the e6 or f6 we're gonna have the checkmate on f5 so for example this way the same with the with the king on e6 and if um, g6 we're gonna have simply queen g6 and this is also the checkmate so that was one of the ways however Josef Krejcik played something more beautiful boom knight e6 trapping the queen again so this is signature move of Josef Krejcik trap your queen uh, and now black is completely lost uh, in the game uh, we have f takes on e6 and of course uh, the last move of Josef Krejcik is bishop g6 and this ended with a checkmate so what a game very short game however uh, you can get inspired you can uh, try this in maybe some blitz game uh, I tried and once I almost got it, but then um, my opponent actually makes some space for the for the queen in the last moment, and I got the decisive attack, but it was not that beautiful as as this one. Also, uh, I would like to show you that this can happen also uh, with the opposite colors. If uh, if white play d4, knight f6, uh, and this move knight d2 is quite a shady. It's played sometimes, but you definitely need to know what you are doing. Because if we're gonna have kind of Budapest uh, Gambit, this is actually called the Lazard Gambit in the Indian game, uh, then you have to be careful uh, in this position. In this position, you cannot go for h3. You have to play knight g to f3. Because if you play um, this h3, you're gonna have the same problem uh, with the queen on the h4. And that's gonna be the checkmate. So just aware, I hope you learned something uh, from this game. Uh, but of course, in our game, we had this checkmate by Josef Krejcik. If you like this video, press like. If for some reason you don't like it, press unlike. And if you don't want to miss other games on my channel, press subscribe. Smash the bell button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.